What's up guys, it's Juno. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live, episode number 86. We're going to be using the same team to give it a third episode. Um, and then what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to talk about Scald while playing. So you guys can like sit there and listen to me talk about Scald. You guys can tab out or whatever. Um, I don't really care. That'll be next episode. This episode we're actually going to try to focus and do all that fun stuff. Don't want regular UU. Don't do this to me. We're going to go for UU no Scald. Okay, don't give me two matches. That would be horrible if you gave me two matches right now. But anyway, um, happy Wednesday. Monday, actually, to everybody out there. Uh, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. I leave tomorrow morning to go on vacation, which is going to be super fun. By the time you guys will, are watching this, um, I'll be chilling on the beach most likely. But, you know, that's, that's, that's just a personal thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, we're going to wait for this thing to find a match. Hopefully it finds one soon. And, uh, we'll be right back. Um, so we found a match. Part of me wants to, uh, actually play this match just to uh, see how competitive it's gonna be. And the other part of me just wants to say, okay, you know what, I'll be back in a couple minutes, guys. Um, but it looks like I'm just going to play it and see how horrible it's gonna be. You know, it could be respectable. I could lose. That's a very real possibility. Um... You know what, actually, th this is just going to show you guys how horrible, like, some players are on the ladder. Like, don't, don't be this guy. I guarantee this is, like, Cosmic Power Flame Orb. This is probably, th th that's actually maybe a decent set. It's probably AV. Um, this is probably Shell Smash King's Rock, and then this is garbage. So, anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and finish this match and then find another one. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. Hopefully. But, yeah. Be back. Hey, look at that. Last guy timed out. We got another battle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead Ape. Um, as per the use, just uh, to try to get a better lead matchup versus Galv. This guy's team is honestly going to be really hard to beat. Uh, just leads Galv, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to get my rocks up right here. I'm expecting him to just get his webs up. And then, oh. I mean, you do you, man. It's up to you. <laughs> Um, I actually don't have a move on my thing to touch this. That's bad. Uh, I'm gonna go into, into a Mega Pidgeot. I used to think this, like, is this thing called Pidgeot or is this thing called Pidgeot? Ow. That was Life Orb. You clicked the fire move versus the fire type. I don't understand. Um, so that's actually really lame that I lost that. That would have been helpful for, like, checking Luke and stuff. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click Knock Off right here. Because, you know, this is Gen 6. It's Knock Off. If you have the chance to click it, you click it. If he goes into Luke and he's justified, um, your boy is about to have a problem. He just goes into Perth, though, which, you know, it's fine. I get rid of his item. He clearly... See he's mega. Help. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna go into Ape right here and, uh, hopefully take a Waterfall. Try to get this thing in before, uh... Try to get this thing in before rocks, which I do, which is great. Um, I'm just going to go for a mock, a mock punch right here, um, as he will hopefully waterfall me, which he does. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Endeavor, bring him down to 1 HP, and uh, make him a lot easier to pick off for the next mod that I go into, um, which is probably going to be Heracross. Um, he goes into Shandy. Wonderful. Great. I'm going to click Mock Punch right here. I highly doubt he's sub Life Orb because uh, you would die in like two hits. But uh, we'll see. You know, I've been wrong before. <laughs> he's immune to Mock Punch as he just takes me out with the Shadow Ball. Is, is, I, um, is he really going to stay in here? He knows that I'm Scarfed. This thing beats Dew Blade. Actually, nah. I have to go for the knockoff right here. As much as I want to just click CC, I can't. I uh, end up knocking off his life orb, which is nice. Hopefully a plus one knockoff will knock out Galvantula if he chooses to go into that. Um, and right now his team is looking pretty weak to this Scarf close combat I got waiting for him. Uh, it goes in a pert. Um, how much did knockoff do last time? 24. Plus one is going to do like 36. That is not enough. That is not enough. Uh, I'm going to go and do a gator right here because what gator is about to do for me is click waterfall and uh, hopefully knock this thing out. Um, it'll do good damage to whatever comes in, even if he goes in a hack. Because um, if he goes in a hack, he's kind of forced to kill me with outrage or dragon claw. Hopefully outrage, and that just means dude Blade can come in and check him. Honestly, I'm feeling really confident about this one, even though like I'm down right now. Just goes for the waterfall. Easiest switch of my entire career. Um, I can just, 
I, I thought I had, uh, I got so lost in that sentence. I kind of wish I was sub DD. Um, God, I'm slow. Um, cause sub DD is kind of nice for setting up on the fires or yeah, the fire types and the grass types, not the grass types, the fire types and the water types that Entei lures out. Um, which normally is pretty good, but sometimes it's bad. <laughs> Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click, 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 click. Um, I'm gonna click waterfall because if he knocks me out, that's beautiful. Um, that that is what I wanted, good sir. That is absolutely what I wanted because um, now I get to go into Heracross and I get to try to hit a Stone Edge, which hopefully will knock him out. Um, if it doesn't knock him out, I'm gonna be a little disappointed, um, and if I miss, I'm gonna be disappointed. Um, just because if I if this thing doesn't get its webs up, that's beautiful for me. Um, it means that, sweet, it didn't get its webs. That's beautiful. Um, what that means is that I may be able to just win with Heracross now. Um, because I do check his Lucario relatively well. As long as it's not EQ Luke, which it very well could be. Um, because that'd be, a, that'd actually be a cool core to experiment with. Um, anyway, that's beside the point. I'm going into Dew Blade right here because I can just uh, Shadow Claw and Shadow Sneak and he'll die to that plus two rounds of life or recoil. So he goes for the EQ, gets a crit. Um, that's unfortunate. That's really bad. It's horrible, actually. Um, I'm just going to click Sneak. <laughs> Bailed out by the crit. Um... So I'm going to go into Entei. I think I lose now, which is pretty lame, but it's okay. I'm just going to click, click Sacred Fire. I kind of have to get a burn versus Haxorus in order to win. Um, and he has to be Adamant Luke, which I think most Lukes are. Um, a Scavalier doesn't even have knockoff or pursuit. That's lame. Um, this, this is garbage, man. How did I lose to this? Pretty much me on a daily basis. He just ends up going for the E-Speed, which is fine, as I hit my Sacred Fire. Thank God. Um, this could be useful for priority later in the game. He goes in Haxorus, but I uh, don't think I don't think I'm living a hit. Um, this will outspeed me. No, it didn't. Burn. Nice. He's not even Lum. He's not Scarf. I can win. It depends on if uh, Close Combat is going to be able to knock out a Scavalier. Um... Because I know I will outspeed him right here, get my Moxie boost, get to plus one. Honestly, that crit was garbage, and it probably cost me the game. Because um, I'm not even sure plus one's going to be able to kill. Like, this is technically banded damage. Um, but he'll probably just... Actually, yeah, he'll be able to kill me off with an Iron Head. So, you know, Hera, I believe in you. You're not going to be able to kill, but you did well. Uh, yeah, didn't, didn't even kill. Garb. Bad game. TBH. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. It's going on YouTube. I don't care. Um, we're we're going to leave that one open. We're going to go ahead and look for another match. I mean, it came down to a 6% chance yeah that's unfortunate um because luke would have died to shadow claw plus shadow sneak plus two rounds of life orb recoil which is super important um because then it still would have been around to get chip shadow sneak damage um <laughs> okay go ahead and call me like I, I know that I was like, yeah, that, because in all reality, like, that is a bad game. Like, if I set it up to win and I get beat by a 6% chance and it's like, that that's like out of my control and out of his control, then like, you know, that's kind of a bad game. It's like, is he a good player? Yeah. Was it like a bad turn of events that led to that? Yeah. So, you know, that that's kind of my stance on that. But I'll be back when we find another one. Alright, I'm finally back. I just had to play a dude who accidentally brought his LC team and uh, insisted that we play it out. 
Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lead Infernape right here, as he will probably lead with Aerodactyl. Expected. That's just basic, boy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click Rocks, because I don't lose anything by it. Even if he taunts, I just Endeavor, then Mach Punch, and uh, take him out. If he goes for the Aerial Ace this turn, I can just get off a Chip, Mach Punch, damage the following turn, and everything is good. Um, that'll, that also allows me an opportunity to go into Gator and uh, just click Aqua Jet. Um, or try to double. He just goes to the rock slide. Don't flip. <sighs> of course. <laughs> why? Why would anything else happen? Why? Off to off to a great start. What am I? Sky drop. This guy has no idea what he's doing. I'm. <sighs> Sometimes you don't know what you're up against. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go out into a gator right here, probably. Watch him not switch out. I'm just going to click waterfall. I don't fear you at all. At all. You, ca you cannot do this to me. So, so far we lost to a crit, which was a little bit unfortunate, but you know, I'm kind of over that one. It's like, unfortunate, yes. Um, ladder stopping, no. Um... So Gudra, 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 you're clicking your Dragon Stab, aren't you? Um, or you're clicking T-Bolt. So this could be interesting. Um, so you, you just go for the Toxic. Now I get to look like I read you right there, when in reality I didn't. Um, I'm just going to go straight away for the Iron Head. I don't think I really lose a whole lot by it. You go for the Protect. You're this kind of player. How are you this high up on the line? <laughs> Oh my god, um, I'm going for Shadow Claw though, I end up donking Aggron for a, a cool 16 and leftovers, help me. Um, oh yeah, of course he's leftovers, because he wasn't the other thing. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty free switch into Hera, who clicks close combat and gets a kill. Um, j you went for it, help me. <laughs> I didn't actually think you would click Head Smash versus the Steel type. I either got just red, or this guy just doesn't know what he's doing. Goes out in a Zam, it's fine, looking like an easy KO, unless you're Scarf, be lefties. You're not lefties. Don't be Scarf. Don't be Scarf isn't Scarf. Got him. Hopefully he doesn't realize that he has this. And can just come in and kill me. Goes in a Luke. Unfortunate. I'm going in a Dewblade though. Um... As he goes for the E-Speed. Doesn't affect me, boy. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to SD right here. I don't think I lose a whole lot by it. He can go out in a High Dragon if you... Oh, God. I'm scared. Look out now. I'm going to go for the Shadow Claw right here, though. Because um, it will do a lot of damage to this Luke. Um, and we'll just threaten him. Just It, it may actually kill after Life Orb Recoil. Um, he just goes in a High Dragon, though. Which is fine. I get a crit. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, what do I sack? help um gator's looking pretty expendable although gator could help me versus Agron. i'm gonna go into entei right here because i don't think entei is going to be doing much he does have three f sacred fire switch ins uh, he just goes for the dark pole so i end up living that's pretty cool um looks like i can just click e-speed right here man I expect me to be able to kill him but i'm gonna kill him well i kill him but i can't um <laughs> Anyway, so he just goes out in aggron. Good play. Um, this is a problem, ain't it? E. This is indeed a problem. I'm just going to click E-Speed, though. He uh, didn't take recoil. He's T-Wave Head Smash. <laughs> um, alrighty. You do you, buddy. I end up getting another E-Speed off as he hits his Head Smash, which, you know, that's fine. Um, I can just go into Hera, click close combat, and we can rinse and repeat and watch Hera just sweep his entire team. That's the goal, people. That is the goal. Um, he's Life Orb Hydreigon. Um, he may be mixed because that Dark Pulse actually did no damage. Um, and we already know he has E Speed Luke because he revealed it, which, you know, pretty standard. He's not like Vacuum Wave or whatever, but looks like Heracross actually just cleans through his entire team, and this will probably be the last battle. Um, 
will probably be the last battle. Indeed. He goes into Luke. Um, not actually an issue because I have Dewblade and Dewblade will actually eat any hit this thing wants to go for. Then I'll probably just fire off an Iron Head because, um, you know, he could switch into Hydreigon right here. And I don't really want him to do that for free. Um, even though Shadow Claw plus Shadow Sneak will probably kill. Um, Ilk is what is what is this Luke running that just just allowing it, it to crit me every single time? Uh, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Claw. This is actually all I need this Dewblade for, um, to just knock this thing out right here. So you've done your job, Dewblade. Thank you very much, buddy. Um, and now Gator may just actually end his life right here. Uh, he goes into High Dragon, which is fine. I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak because it may actually put him in range of life orb it probably won't unless i crit him yeah it does not but that's fine um he's life orb meaning hey free kill <laughs> that that's uh, yeah so scarf hair clearly putting in a ton of work scarf hair is actually pretty underrated um it's partially overshadowed by scarf me and Xiao, um just because scarf Xiao hits a lot harder off the bat and is a lot faster um but gudra just died goodbye um, I do get the speed drop, which is unfortunate, so I will have to switch out, but it's looking like an easy snack wrap from this point. Um, Pidgeot actually hasn't done any work for me so far, which is slightly disappointing, not gonna lie. Um, he just ends up going for the sky drop. Joke's on you, buddy. I get a free hurricane. <laughs> he, so, sky drop, I am immune to that, for I am a flying type, and I somehow missed, because you can't mega evolve when you're in the air. Just lame. Goes for the rock slide. Just kills me. So be it. Because um, I just get to go into Gator right here. I'm just going to Aqua Jet to make sure I'm he's in range 100% of the time. Because, you know, things like that can happen. Um, and then I'll click Waterfall the following turn. And Sky Drop is dumb. Don't don't try this at home, please. Um, that didn't kill him, but it's okay. Because he's just going to go for the Sky Drop. Um, I'm clicking Waterfall because he'll die so you know pretty subpar game right there but there's not a whole lot i can actually do about it like i'm look at this people 12th on the ladder uh like given it's a young ladder y-u-n-g but can't really like do a whole lot about that so good game um that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode so if you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like as really does help show support for the stuff that i'm doing here on the channel also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Of the video. Hmm. What, if you guys haven't gone to college yet, where do you guys want to go um, to college? What do you guys want to major in? Um, right now, I'm like split between like an English major and kind of want to go to J school. We'll see. Because journalism is just something that I find really fun. But, you know. With that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.